Thank you for listening to PoliticalStorm.com. I'm John Small. Yesterday, the big announcement was made, uh, and it was not quite made the way they had planned. Donald Trump had planned to have a big press conference to announce his running mate. Well, then we had some tragedies happen overseas, one in France, one in Turkey, and they decided to put things off until today. Now, I just finished watching the, uh, it was about an hour-long press conference where they introduced Mike Pence as the running mate for Donald Trump. And it was it was fascinating to watch, and it was <laughs> it was funny to watch because uh, as you were watching Donald Trump introduce Mike Pence, I think for a couple of times he might have forgot that he was introducing somebody because he kind of got onto a rant about what he was doing, and and uh, then but let's get back to Mike Pence. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Honestly, it reminded me of somebody else that ran for office, uh, Bill Clinton. If you remember back in 1988, when Michael Dukakis was running. At the convention, Bill Clinton had the opportunity to introduce Michael Dukakis, and uh, his introduction lasted for a long, long time, so much so that Johnny Carson had him on his TV program, uh, the, the Tonight Show on NBC, and he made fun of that by introducing him in a very uh, similar fashion where he had uh, a big, long introduction for Bill Clinton. So it was very funny to watch uh, back in the 80s, and, and again, today's... Uh, introduction of Mike Pence by Donald Trump was a little reminiscent to me of that. I, I just thought that was kind of funny. Something that's interesting. Now, Mike Pence, when he spoke, uh, he, he talked about how when he was younger, his role models were JFK and, and Martin Luther King Jr., which I thought was very interesting. And then he said, I started politics in the other party. And it wasn't until our 40th president came along that I became a Republican. So he is a absolutely positively died in the wool Reagan Republican because he became a Republican under Reagan in the 1980s, which very interesting. I do like what he was saying. I am a Christian, I am a conservative, and I am a Republican, and in that order. So I think that's really nice as well, that at least he, you know he's, he's honest about who he is and, and not ashamed to say that. Now, there are already people jumping on the Mike Pence dogpile trying to make this man look bad, and they're going to do that. You know they're going to do that. And whenever Hillary announces who her running mate is going to be, uh, if she's smart, it'll be Bernie Sanders. But uh, who knows? Maybe it won't be. We'll see what happens. But when that day comes, I guarantee you there'll be people dogpiling on that person as well. That's all part of politics. That's just what happens. And it's sad, but that's what happens. Uh, they make the announcement, and then everybody acts like, you know, five-year-olds. So we just got to get used to that, I guess. Now, one of the things that was fascinating to me in watching this, uh, I watched it on television. I was not in New York to watch this live, but I was, I was watching it on television. And the contrast of the speaking style of the two candidates. Now, Donald J. Trump, he's, he's a very good speaker. He really is. He, and he shoots kind of from the hip. You know, he gets up and speaks what's on his mind and says what's on his mind. And he says it in such a way that some people absolutely love it. Some people don't like it, you know. Um, as a matter of fact, the program that I was watching this on, the channel I was watching it on, was uh, making a big deal of the fact that he was not using a teleprompter. Uh, he's not using a teleprompter at this. He will be at the convention, but he's not using a teleprompter. He's speaking from the hip. And they, they were saying it's so much more entertaining when he does this because then you really get to see what's going on. Now, up until recently, no elected official ever used a teleprompter. They just didn't. You know, they, they would use that maybe only during a major speech uh, during, like, the State of the Union, things like that. But they didn't use teleprompters on, on things like this. So... It's, it's just kind of become more and more usual uh, in the last, I don't know, eight years or so, maybe 10 years, where people would start using teleprompters uh, for almost everything. And some use it almost as a crutch, where maybe you need to get off that prompter a bit and start speaking your mind rather than what somebody else put in there for you. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how the nation reacts to Mike Pence as the VP nominee. Uh, I think I think overall it's probably going to be pretty darn good. I watched the the introduction. I uh, had a chance to listen to what he had to say. I'm going to honestly tell you, I don't know a ton about Mike Pence. Uh, I'm not from Indiana. Now, I've heard of Mike Pence in the past, and everything I had heard of him in the past was always positive, uh, at least in my view, uh, with, with my belief system, because I'm also a, a Christian, and I think it would be wonderful if our country would get back to the Christian principles that our country was founded on. Now, am I going to say that that was perfect? No, it's not. There is definitely room for, for things to, to be better, but boy, oh boy, it's kind of scary lately, some of the things that are happening. 
Again, today the big announcement happened. Uh, I guess officially yesterday was the big announcement, and it was a tweet from Donald Trump. I think that's the first time in history that a presidential candidate announced his vice president on Twitter, so I think that's history right there. But uh, again, they were going to make the official announcement yesterday, and they chose to wait because of the tragedy that happened in France and then again what happened last night in Turkey. Now, there are already people that are bashing them for coming out and doing this today. But here's the thing. They have to do it sometime. When are they going to make this announcement? they got to do it sometime. So, you know, they didn't really pick the timing. They've got the convention coming up this week. Uh, that's happening in Cleveland. And we're going to have some reports uh, all this week letting you know uh, about what's going on in Cleveland and giving you some updates right here on politicalstorm.com. Thank you so much for listening. And, again, uh, congratulations to our VP nominee. And that, once again, is Mike Pence, the governor of Indiana. And interestingly enough, his last name, Pence, uh, believe it or not, in England, Pence is like a penny. So it's like a monetary thing. It's a money thing. So when I first saw that Trump was picking Pence, I thought, well, it's kind of funny that you know he's drawn to the money even in this. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure somebody will find a way to exploit that and make that a negative. But I just thought that was kind of a, a fun little aside and a, a clever little thing to uh, throw in here at the end. Thank you for listening to PoliticalStorm.com. I'm John Small.